Why? Why is no one watching my videos? Why? Hey, dumbass, have you tried putting subtitles into your videos yet? Well, that would put a lot more work on my post-processing, right? And so what? Do you even update regularly? Do you update it like Mountain Forest Beetle? He updates twice a week. And how often do you update? Huh? Twice a month? Uh, I don't think so. You update it more like every two months. Hmm? All right, you have a point. Let's do it. Hello guys, my name is Alan, and if you don't know me yet, um, I'm a beetle and photography enthusiast. So, let's get right into it. Um, let's talk about the topic of the day. Um, Odontola bees, Elsis, and my experiences working with them. So I've been keeping them for two generations. Um, the last year, I have two males, and one was medium manable, and the other was a imperfected long mandible but I didn't get them to breed because at the time I couldn't find any um, available female at the time which is weird they were never a, really a big sale um, they're not popular I don't quite understand why because they are a whole lot of fun to work with um, I'm gonna explain it later in the video um, after they die because of age I turn them into a specimen like this. I mean, just look at that sheer size differences. The long one obviously has broader head, thorax, and abdomen. And by the way, what are those English? I mean, thorax, abdomen? Uh, you know, I originally wanted to say head, chest, and belly, but chest and belly just sound like too childish to me, so. I looked it up online, it turned out to be thorax and abdomen, so yeah. The video you are looking at right now is I recorded in April 2021. Um, I have three males that's over 45 grams this year. The long male, the long mandible male last year weighs 42 grams and that's the last number I got it before it emerged. So I'm terribly excited this year. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the result, but all I can do now is waiting and I have checked it on uh, June 17th. One of the cocoon is still in larva form. When it comes to keeping larva, um, the odontal bees larva, they make this underground tunnel and it's a common belief that the tunnel has microorganisms to help them digest flake oil. They probably help them to absorb nutrition better. And according to the data and my observation, their poop is like a milkshake texture and they would paint them on the wall. Oh, which sounds disgusting. But those poop, if they have you know any kind of germs, um, microorganisms, it helps to break down the flake so and yeah so my method I call it half half <laughs> you might wonder I've never heard of it what is half half well you're right because I coined those words uh, my method when changing substrates in L3 is I keep half of the old substrate in the box and I remove the other half away so that's the name half half oh here's one one more thing do not be afraid of offering them those raw materials and those thicker grains in their l3 because here's the deal we were like my method is partially because of my schedule and but the majority of this is more because of their habits all right they are more sensitive compared to other species when they are turning from larva into and turning into pupa. They will make they will first make a cocoon and they're still larva at that stage. But if they receive any stimulations, vibra vibrations or what, they are not going to turn into pupa. So my method of dealing that is I will leave them there for six months 
So if you want your substrate to last for that long, I mean a six months period is pretty long for you know any kind of flake soil. So if you want to get through that long, you need to offer them more raw flake soil and more thicker grain and it also helps them to you know make the cocoon well in my opinion it's a really fun species to work with but there's just so much fewer data on them comparing to other odontal bees family species which is weird because they grow to a fairly big size and usually bigger beetle means they will attract more people to keep them but I've seen at least two other breeders on the internet that are having great success. Um, they all have those, you know, long mandibles. So yeah, give it a try. It won't let you down. If you have any questions, thoughts, please comment down below. And if you find this video to be helpful, please hit that subscribe button for me. And oh my God, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. Ugh. I have a TikTok account now. Oh my god, I'm I used to mock at those people who do TikTok, but yeah. I think you either die hero or you live long enough to be another villain. Well, clearly I'm the latter one. So yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, I'll be posting shorter videos and more often over there. So maybe pay it a visit from time to time. All right, see you next one. Bye.